Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with the second episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory of the day. And that is because today has just been an absolute madness. So they've dropped these Evo packs out of absolutely nowhere, including about 30 new Evos, I think, that have been added into the game, as you can see, headed by the Galaxy Opal, LeBron James. There's about 10 other Opals that have got Evos as well, that have just been added on. So there's no new cards today, but there are new Evos, which make so many unusable cards now incredibly incredibly powerful but not only that on stream today and by the way the stream today guys was unbelievable we peaked at 580 viewers and my previous record was 440 i believe so smash the record so if you came through to the stream massive shout out to you we did go ahead and as i said in the first episode we were going to complete historic spotlight sim so today we are going to be locking in galaxy opal gilbert arenas and then, of course, in turn, getting Galaxy Opal Hakeem Olajuwon, which is awesome. The first video of the day, if you missed it, you need to go and watch it. We packed, or we got uh, rewarded, the Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. And we went into some triple threat online games with him. And let me just tell you, that card is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So go ahead and check out the first video of the day if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, massive thank you to the support for you guys for the support on the stream earlier. And shout out, of course, to the five MVPs of the channel, Heisenberg, Panda, Joaquim, Geno and Anton and I'm pretty sure all five of you guys were out in the stream today and I'm pretty sure all of our members were in the stream today so massive shout out to you guys so we will talk a little bit about the Evos um, but I think the auction house is just such a mess right now I'm not too sure uh, what to talk about it with um, but we'll come over here um, and as you can see obviously from earlier we are now 71 cards away from uh, Anthony Davis which is just mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing so Historic Spotlight Sims are done. The final team we completed on stream were the Raptors, which is for the Pink Diamond, Andrea Bargnani. And now it is just now back to the normal Spotlight Sims. The grind is now just going to be for Diamond cards, which isn't very fun. Isn't very fun at all. Now, over on the auction house, we have got the Eric Pascal and Aaron Baines, who were both Evos. And at the time, when I put them up, they were the cheapest um, because the hype was real when these packs first came out or the um, Evos first got added into the game. Sadly, didn't manage to capitalise, should have been a bit quicker, but we did capitalise a little bit as we come down here. So Paul Gasol was the Galaxy Opal, uh, you saw me put him up in the um, video earlier. Sadly, he finished at exactly the same time that these new packs were coming out. So nobody cared about my Paul Gasol, so that sucked. We only got 112k for him, which is not great, but Jason Terry, Diamond Jason Terry, Diamond Jet, why has that got a bit of a... Why? Why have you done that to yourself? And I don't know why someone bought mine for 100k either, because there were so many up. Um, it got bought out on stream, but it wasn't by anyone in the stream, because I wasn't, like, showing the card. Um, but yeah, he's down at, like, 70k right now. We got 100k for that card. That is such a W. It is hard to believe. Jay Williams, we managed to go ahead and get 18k for him, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, and I think he's probably... He's not 30k, no way. Is he 30k? Surely not. Oh, he might have gone up in price, mightn't he? Oh, I think he might have done, because I know that DBG's done a video about this card, about how easy it is to Evo him up. So he's now at 30k. All right, took a little bit of an L on uh, that one right there. Uh, and then Michael Ray Richardson, not really too expensive. We managed to get this one for like 9k, and then we flipped it straight away uh, for like 13k. So making a little bit of profit, not much, but a little bit. And uh, at the moment, he is like, yeah, he's like 10k. He hasn't really changed too much. Uh, but still more MT coming into the club, so it puts us back at 800,000 MT. We've now completed the heat checks, apart from Bron and Kawhi. Obviously, they're pretty expensive, so probably not going to be buying them anytime soon. Brought back Kyle Korver, so any people we don't have are Kawhi, um, Giannis, and Bron again. So heat checks in Series 2, pretty much done. Uh, still needing the 71 cards to get to where we need to be. <laughs> so it's going to get tough now. It is going to get tough, but we're about to add in another two cards today. So... We come down to Historic Spotlight Sim East. Like I said, we added in Bagnani. He was the final card that we needed. 70 hours worth of gameplay. Lock it in. Galaxy Opal Gilbert Arena. So let's go ahead and pack this bad boy. Agent Zero coming through. And of course, when we get him, that is when we can go ahead and lock in for Hakeem. I'm so excited. And we're going to have a look at um, Draymond's price, the Opal Draymond's price. See what he's selling for. Because now we've got Agent Zero. He is going to come into that point guard position very nicely. And uh, we might have to, or we might be able to, uh, uh, well, free up a bit of MT words. Words are tough sometimes. But there we go. Agent Zero comes home. You love to see it. Uh, so we'll have a quick look at his stats and then we'll lock in uh, for Hakeem, which I'm so excited for. So excited for. Right. 
down here to rewards and Gilbert Arenas, 40 Hall of Fame badges and 18 golds. Really nice. Six foot three. Insane stats, insane passing, insane defense, and insane speed. Yeah, basically that good. Basically that good. And now it's time to lock in for Galaxy Opal Hakeem. So that is now going to come into this collection. And uh, we can finally see a little bit of progress on the road to Kobe. We are going to be halfway there. Over halfway there because we've already done five of these. So 25 more challenges to go, guys. 24 more challenges until Galaxy Opal Kobe. And we've got, uh, what day is it today? We've got 12 days to do it because today is the 6th. I've earmarked it, I've penned it in for the May the 18th, my birthday is when we're going to have the Galaxy Opal Kobe. So we've got 25 challenges to do in 12 days, which is definitely possible, definitely, definitely possible. But there we go, Galaxy Opal Hakeem Elijah one. you love to see it. Last year I had the Pink Diamond Hakeem in my club for so long, I love his player uh, model in these games, so really excited to have him. And that is of course another two cards added in, so we need 69 players left, or 69 cards more Add to add into the club. So 44 Hall of Fames, 15 gold on Hakeem, 7 foot tall, 90 driving lap, insane stats, nothing over, nothing under a 90 in the offensive stats. Coach and a, a shoot and he can speed boost, insane defensive stats, insane rebounding and 90 speed, 94 lateral quickness. Unbelievable. So the main squad now, obviously Mike Malone, just, uh, Moses Malone, sorry, just, just get out of there, just get in the bin. Um, and Derek Rose, I'm afraid it is time for you to vacate the squad. Gilbert Arenas can come in. And that first, this starting lineup here is completely untradeable. We have got Historic Spotlight Sim. We've got Collector Level. We have got a 12-0. We've got a Token Reward. And then Historic Sim. That's really cool. That is a nice mismatch. That shows we've done a little bit of everything this year. We've done a lot of offline content. We've done a lot of online content. We've done a lot of token grinding. And we've done a lot of card collecting. I really like that team. Not going to lie, I'm really happy with that. And then off the bench, we've got Dre, Brandon Roy, Chris Mullen, Thel Bailey, and Wilt Chamberlain. And then in the club, we've still got the Sabonis and Zach Levine as Galaxy Opens. Of course, we're going to be adding in AD, hopefully. So Thel Bailey will leave the squad. Josh Smith will come down to the backup four. And AD will, of course, be the starting uh, power forward. And speaking of these new Evos, um, hello, can I get out of the squad right here? Yes, I can. So Scotty Pippin, um, our Evo that we're working on currently, which, of course, is... I'm not going to say irrelevant right now, but I don't really want to be working on him while these other Evos are out in the game. But anyway, we are 43 games through. Points only need one more game. Basically getting eight points in one game. 166 steals, which is really good progress. Rebounds creeping up to halfway, and then we're going to start on the assists. So in my club at the moment, the new cards that came out today, I've got this Michael Ray Richardson, 253s, 50 steals, and he goes up a little bit. Uh, Three-pointer goes up quite a lot, and he does get things like range extender, which he didn't have before. Um, as you can see, he goes to a pink diamond, but as you saw, his price hasn't really changed too much. Um, Steve Smith, he was a new one that came out today. Loads, loads, loads more badges. 40 points in a single game five times, and he goes up to a pink diamond. Let's have a look at his price at the diamond level and then the pink diamond level. See if it's worth selling him or if it is actually worth evoing him because we could do that in five of these spotlight challenges. So the diamond one at the moment is selling for a 20k. That's that's not bad. I might cash in on that. I might cash in on that. And then the pink diamond one coming in at 60-ish k maybe. I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to evo him because five games is so easy. That's literally one player um, of spotlights. So, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Evo him. Uh, Steve Smith will get evo So let's go ahead and put him into our Evo squad right here. Um, so let's go to Diamond. I'm pretty sure he's a shooting guard. Uh, and let's try and find our Steve Smith right here. All right, there he is. So yeah, he comes in and I will get the 40 points with him done next game and uh, for the next five games. So that'd be pretty cool. That's going to be him done. I don't think I've got any other of the new ones in the club at the moment because I sold them. Uh, so no, that is it, I believe, that is it. So yeah, I had the Eric Pascal, as you saw, he's up for sale, not going to sell for 30k. Aaron Baines as well, try to get 40k for him, that's not going to work. Um, and then Jay Williams as well is in the club. So we come over to these packs, you can't buy them with v uh, with MT, you can only buy them with VC. Um, and that's reminding me guys, I have some VC in the top right hand corner. Before you even come to the wild conclusion that I've spent money on packs, obviously not. Um, I have started a My Player, so obviously you have to get VC um, by playing the My Career game. So that is why that's there. Right, let me just show you guys the new cards. Um, so Eric Pascal is the first one of the new cards. Because um, they've been put in these packs and they've got every Evo in the game. So Eric Pascal is new. Aaron Baines is new. Uh, we come up here. Derek Jones Jr. is a new card. So is Bam Adebayo, Jason Terry, Michael Ray Richardson, Jay Williams... 
uh, De'Aaron Fox, Aaron Gordon, Jokic, Zoe, John Wall, and then Derek Rose, Kyrie, Bron, Taco Fall, Kristaps, Magic, Mellow, and Bol Bol. And let me tell you guys, the prices of these cards earlier on today on stream when we were looking, they were ridiculous. So Taco Fall is at 350. He gets gold range extender, which is kind of mad. Um, let's have a look at another Evo. So Derek Rose is pushing 300k as well. Yao Ming, for some reason, is still selling for 350k. Ben Simmons is 800,000 MT. Magic Johnson, 600,000 MT. The market is just genuinely unbelievable right now. Unbelievable. Blake is still at 400k. Uh, we come over here. I don't think we're going to see a Brom, but Steph at 300k. What are people on? T-Mac, 600k still as well. Shaq still at a million. Obviously, that's not a surprise. Kareem at 630k. How is the market so high right now? Like... These cards are all in packs, like all of these Evos are out in these packs, but I think because they're VC only, I don't think many people are actually um, using them. I don't think many people are opening them up because you've got to pay a lot of MT, or a lot of VC, a lot of money to get those um, done, which does suck. So there we go, there are three best cards, Mullin, Arenas and Hakeem, all from, of course, the Historic Spotlight. It seems a little bit annoying that Dwayne Wade isn't one of those cards, but you know what, we will let it slide. Now, there was one card that is an Evo that was really expensive. As you guys probably know, Udonis Haslam. Um, and I was interested to see if it actually changed his price at all. I think he's spotlight Dwayne Wade. He is. Okay, so he used to be about 60k. It looks like he's come down a little bit, which is nice. Um, but if he's not, like, under 20k, then I'm not going to bother. Okay, finally. It's taken however many months this card's come down in price, but it's finally coming down. He's still at 20k, which I don't really want to spend, but hopefully he keeps coming down. If I can pick him up for like 12, 13, 14k, I will do that. Because now we're down to this level right here with uh, 69 cards to go. We have 27 more cards to add in right there. Uh, so that's 27, 28 with the Harden, and then 29 with Kobe. So we've got 29 cards coming into the club. So that leaves us needing 40 cards. So we're going to have to splash out a lot of MT on 40 cards. We need a lot of pink diamonds out there. There's no doubt about it. We should be able to get a lot of them for about 20k. Um, so yeah, 40 cards, 20,000 MT, 800k, we've got 800k in the bank, it's looking very good for Anthony Davis, but of course we do have to get all of these rewards cards first, which is going to take us, like I said, to my birthday on May the 18th, so whether or not on my birthday it turns out that we get Galaxy Opal Kobe and Anthony Davis, I'm not sure, um, but they just, oh, they just deserve their own videos, they just do, but we will see, we will see how it goes for AD, because yeah, now I've collected all the heat check cards uh, and all the Series 2 stuff, yeah, it's getting tough now to collect these cards. Right, let's go ahead and let's jump into some triple threat online gameplay with our new trio. Our brand new trio of Gilbert Arenas, Dwayne Wade and Hakeem Olajuwon. That just looks incredible. That just looks insane. I just want to score with Dwayne Wade the entire game, but I will try and focus on Gilbert and Hakeem in this gameplay. Hakeem should be able to do everything defensively. He's got, like, range extender, I'm pretty sure. I think he might have it Hall of Fame as well. I'm pretty sure he does, which is just insane in the first place. Gilbert is obviously just an unbelievable offensive card and really good defensively, but 6 foot 3. If we come up against a Ben Simmons or someone like that, we might struggle a little bit. And then Dwayne Wade earlier on, guys. If you missed that video, you need to go ahead and watch it. This guy comes in with Shaq. So that's an interesting uh, matchup for Hakeem right there. The really, really outdated Ray Allen. And then uh, obviously Galaxy Opal MJ, one of the best defenders in the game. And uh, I think MJ will be guarding Gilbert Arenas. So that's not going to be easy. Um, no, it's not. Okay, that's that's good. So Ray Allen is guarding Arenas, which isn't too bad. Dwayne Wade for his first shot of the game. It's not green. And he bricks it. Oh, I was about to say, but look at Hakeem flying in. He doesn't manage to get the rebound right there. And I don't even think this guy is playing, and I bricked a shot. Oh, I don't think this guy is there, so we'll try and green a free. A, a free? A three with Hakeem, which we managed to do. That's nice. His release has always been a little bit slow, and uh, there might be a better sender out there, actually, at the moment. I have just remembered there was a couple of other co a couple of other Evo cards that we didn't talk about. This guy isn't here, so I'm not sure what's happening, but I'll get back to you guys when we've either won this game or when he comes back. Okay, he's back, he's back, he's back. Well, that's a... That's an interesting shot. Hakeem grabs the board. Good lad. Over to Dwayne Wade. Back to Hakeem, who cocks it back. Looking very, very athletic right there. And so he should. He's got like 90, 94 speed or 94 lateral quickness, whatever it is. So he should be looking that athletic. He's got the 90 driving dunk as well. And then this Dwayne Wade card is just a different breed. He really, really is. Gilbert Arenas, like I said, 
a little bit undersized, maybe just with all the big point guards that run my team unlimited at the moment. Uh, with your magics, your um, your let's have a look here, Gilbert Arenas. Okay, it's a little bit of a longer release than I'm used to because I'm used to that Dwayne. Well, I'm not used to that Dwayne Wade one, but we've been using Dwayne Wade today. So yeah, Gilbert's release isn't quite as quick as that, but from what I remember, and uh, Gilbert Arenas has a really nice release. We've used him before at the Pink Diamond level, uh, and I really like that card. That's gone in. No, it hasn't. It's bricked. You love to see it. Over to Gilbert Arenas. I'm going to throw the lob right here to Dwayne Wade, who flew over Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan. Things you love to see. All right, this guy is chucking up some bad shots. Gilbert Arenas for three. Green. Good stuff, Agent Zero. Okay, so we've got a green light with Hakeem and Gilbert Arenas. Not going to lie, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Uh, we're coming off of, a, of course, a great game with Dwayne Wade, where we went perfect from the field. Didn't miss a shot and didn't not green light a single shot. We took one layout, but other than that, it was green lights for days. We'll see if we can get this guy lost um, against this Ray Allen, which is a good card. But, oh man, we had him. Why did he take such a weird and long animation? He was up in the air. Come on, Gilbert, you've got to be better than that. And of course, that's the only thing, like, he's not a big point guard. So, driving inside isn't going to be easy. Hmm, Hakeem, not sure about that one. Not sure about that one, buddy. You've let the ball go right through you. And I think this is game number seven for Triple Threat Online. So do want to get the W in this one because I think Kiki is still out on the boards. Right, Gilbert Arenas over to Hakeem. Two for two. Two for two from Hakeem. With that, a slightly slow release, um, but that's to be expected. He's had that same release for uh, quite a few 2Ks right now as this guy is coming down and uh, hitting with Ray Allen, which isn't really a surprise. I know I said that card was outdated, but it is, of course, still a uh, very, very good card. Um, so Agent Zero going to come down here with the step back three. Green light, not step back three, snatch back three with yet another green light. All right, that is that is very, very, very nice. Let's make sure we're back inside. Great defense right there from Agent Zero. And Dwayne Wade hustles, though. We, we, we rate the hustle. Right, one possession game. Let's go ahead and uh, finish this one off very nicely. Right, we'll drive with um, Gilbert Arenas. And then uh, hopefully that leaves Hakeem wide open for a kick out. Um, has it done? Yes, it has. Hakeem, three for three on three pointers. Yes, indeed. Slightly earlier in the release. Like I said, that release is quite long, but Hakeem, three for three from deep. And Gilbert Arenas, I think, was perfect in that game as well. I can't remember, but really, really strong debuts from those two guys against Galaxy Opal Shaq, of all people. Really, really do love to see that. Right, let's see what the reward board is going to have, because like I said, I think Galaxy Opal Kiki is still out there, and at the moment, we need every card we can get, and that's just reminding me that today, 2K released a locker code. It's not a very good locker code, um, let's not get it twisted. It's a really bad lock code. So New Year's resolution packs, that's okay. We will try and get some of those. Um, but yeah, let me go bring up the um, code and then we'll go ahead and put that in after I'm done with these four ball drops. All right, so we managed to get one of the packs. Not the best um, ball drops there, not going to lie, but still New Year's resolution pack. Let's see what we can get out of this. And we get a Sapphire, which is going to be Michael Carter-Williams. Definitely already got him. So uh, he will probably be discard value. Right, let's talk about the new updates in the token market. So there's not new token players. Don't get it twisted. There's not two new token players. But they might as well be new. Penny Hardaway, Evo, Grant Hill, Evo, and David Robinson, Evo. And let me tell you, this guy right now is one of the best centers, if not the best center in the game. So he goes up to 40 Hall of Fame badges or 39. Don't quote me on that, but I think he goes up to that. He gets Hall of Fame Steady Shooter, which isn't as bad as gold. Like it's Hall of Fame Steady Shooter is actually quite nice. His um, speed gets a boost. Everything gets a boost. His lateral quickness gets a big boost as well. His ball control gets boosted up. And I think he can speed boost now. Um, and everything else gets a little boost as well. His shooting gets a boost. Three point gets a boost. So that David Robinson looks unreal. And uh, compared to Hakimi, he has a much smoother jump shot. So David Robinson's looking nice. Penny Hardaway and Grant Hill both get really nice Evos as well. But if we look at our team right now. Um, obviously these guys out of contract, that looks just so ugly, let's just remove that straight away. Um, so at the backup point guard position at the moment, we've got the Draymond, which I do really, really like. At the backup small four position, we've got the Chris Mullin, and uh, we're going to have the AD coming in soon, who can also play at that small four position. Um, so I think we're pretty stacked there. And then the backup centre position is Wilt, and I just don't really vibe with that Wilt Carden. I just don't like him, I don't like him. His jump shot is horrible, and for me, whenever I played with him, he doesn't feel great. So... We could bring in David Robinson, and honestly, I think David Robinson would become the starting centre in this squad. So we'd have um, Gilbert Arenas, Dwayne Wade, James Worthy. J no, wait, actually, we would have Dwayne Wade at the one, Kobe at the two, 
Glenn Rice at the three, AD at the four, and then David Robinson at the five. I am, of course, thinking a little bit in the future when, of course, we've got Kobe and Glenn Rice. But that is how, by the end of the month, th that is how the squad could be looking, which is just unbelievable to think. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to start saving up some tokens now. Obviously, we only spent all of ours the other day, which is really, really bad timing. Um, we're about 200 away, which isn't too bad because we've got all of these spotlights to do. So we've got 25 left, and all of those are going to get us six tokens. So straight away, that is going to be 150 tokens. Uh, quick maths. Uh, which puts us, is that 150 tokens? I don't think it is, is it? Yeah, it is. I did have to make sure, but it is. Um, so 150 tokens obviously puts us at 700, basically 700. So we only need to find another 50 tokens, and then we can pick up David Robinson, and not only that, we can then get another 150,000 MT. So this, this account is just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, right, let's go ahead, and before we get out of here today, we will put in this locker code for Earl Boykins, who is, of course... Five foot five tool. So not exactly going to be a card that's going to make anyone's squad. Okay, guys, so that is the locker code. If you do want to put it in, then go ahead and pause this video. If not, it is out there on Twitter plenty. And I believe on this board, there's 2000 MT, the CP3 diamond card, which there is, and then the pink diamond L Boykins. So I will take either CP3 or L Boykins because 2000 MT to me at this point isn't really anything, but a new card could save me like 20k. So Definitely, please, 2k, one of those two cards. It's kind of close, it's kind of close, and it's it's just not done it, has it? So we get 2,000 MT instead, which isn't great, but um, oh well, that'll help. It does put us exactly on 800k um, to end this video, which is quite nice. So 800,000 MT with uh, 69 cards to get. And of course, we could just buy those 69 cards, but it would cost us a lot of MT. We do, of course, still have our shoe investments, but... I'm not too fussed about selling them just yet. So let's jump into some comments before we get out of here today. One unbelievable day of my team has been. One unbelievable day. Getting Galactic Opal Dwayne Wade, Galactic Opal Arenas, Galactic Opal Hakeem, and then these Evos out of absolutely nowhere. They dropped the Dynamic Duos yesterday, again, out of nowhere, and then the Evos today. What are they doing? I don't know, but it's great. It is fantastic. All right, first up into the comments we go. Harvey says, should I sell my Luca? Will he maintain his value when the auction house crashes as he's part of the prime set or not? At the moment, I still think everyone is so high in price. Luka Doncic, over 300k. I think that's a very good price for him. Earlier on, he was selling for 400k. Uh, but yeah, if you can get like 350 for him, then definitely go ahead and do it. Step back, should I sell my Galaxy with Ben Simmons? Yes, we just saw him selling for 800k. Cash in, man. Cash in. Uh, Ashton says, should I sell Tracy McGrady? Yes, again, really, really expensive. We can get entire teams like with really good Galaxy Opals in for like six, 700,000 MT. So I don't think there's any need to have them in one squad. Uh, next up, we have Dash. I feel like 2K is going to release a new Pippin card soon because of the last dance and because his most reasonable, recent viable card was a diamond, which wasn't even decent when he came out. I do think when the last dance finishes, they could drop another Opal MJ and an Opal Robman and an Opal Scotty, which would suck considering that we are just doing Opal Scotty's Evo right now. Um, but you know what? I've kind of enjoyed doing this. The steals have been quite fun to get. The steals have been quite fun to get. Minji says, or Mings says, when do you think Lamar Odom will go back up? I've got 23 for 3.5k, hoping he'll go up to about 7 to 8,000 MT. You're going to have to wait a couple of weeks, but he will go back up in price because he's a fantastic, fantastic card. And I snag on you also asked about Nick Young's price. And again, he will go up when he hits like six to 8,000 MT. That's when you should go ahead and sell him. And then Sean with the final comment of the day says, please someone answer me. If I get Opal Cat, I have enough MT to do it. Oh, should I get Opal Cat? I have enough MT to do it and I already have Magic Johnson. No, do not lock in sets. Whatever you do, you will only regret it. Magic Johnson at like 500k. Mellow coming in at like 400k. Do not lock in. There's no need. You will only regret it. Trust me, you will only regret it. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the two videos today and the stream. If you're part of the stream squad, then shout out to you. What an unbelievable day. Hope you guys have enjoyed the content. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.